always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. I thought I'd show you this, kind of interesting. 23.3 uh, inches of snow last March. That would be more than half of the snow that we got this entire season, which we are currently at a deficit. It has now exceeded 30 inches for the season. It's just remarkable. And we average uh, a little over seven inches during a March. We do have some snow, it looks like, heading our way possibly this weekend, at least snowflakes. I don't think we're gonna see much in the way of accumulation. But nonetheless, some cooler air heading our way. So enjoy today. We're off to a nice quiet start out there. We'll check in with Tom Hill in a moment, see if that uh, these dry roads uh, also include uh, good traveling and any crashes at the present time. But right now, it's uh, A-OK -okay out there. Holland, dry conditions. Temperature currently right around the freezing mark in Grand Rapids. We're at 35 Kalamazoo, 36 in Muskegon. A little bit cooler up around Manistee and Traverse City in 20s there. And closer in, you can see pretty much everybody with exceptional lighting in the 30s. Not much of a wind. It's out of the east, pushing those feel like rains down in the middle upper 20s in most cases. Here's the current wind. It's out of the east at 8 in Grand Rapids, 6 Kalamazoo, 9 in Muskegon. Should be around, right around 5 to 15 miles an hour throughout the day. It's not a cloud-free sky out there. You can see a lot of high mid-level clouds off to our west, so we'll call it variably cloudy as we go back and forth to sunshine and clouds throughout the day. Area of low pressure taking shape in the south central plains. That's going to be a player in our forecast for tomorrow. We'll see an increasing cloud scenario tonight with rain knocking on our door tomorrow morning during daybreak and then that rain moves in. We're going to go with a solid 100% chance of rain. The heaviest will be tomorrow afternoon and then you can even see a slight chance of a, maybe a rumble of thunder, especially south of Grand Rapids tomorrow night. And on the back side of the system, rain we have you a Saturday morning and before it comes to an end, it may mix in briefly with a little bit of snow, but it looks like a good soaking rain event with many areas between about a half an inch to an inch of rain, some locally even higher than that. Cooling down Saturday, 44 degrees degrees for a high and then on Sunday we're likely not making it out of the 30s remember daylight saving time uh, spring ahead and we'll have a chance of some morning flurries after that though nice rebound of temperatures into next week Tom how's a look out there in the roads well things are moving along pretty smoothly so far this morning do want to give you an alert of some intermittent road work that will be happening once again today we saw this yesterday and we will see it again today just between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. so definitely during those non-peak travel times uh, right there eastbound and westbound I-96 at the 131 uh, corridor exchange so watch for some potential slowdowns in the area as a result of that taking a look at all of the freeways right now heading into and around the downtown Grand Rapids area if you are getting ready to head out the door right now, everything is looking pretty good out there. So far, we are not working with any uh, major crashes or delays. Here's a live look, US 131, the S-curve heading into and out of downtown Grand Rapids. You can see we are working with mostly light traffic at the time. I'll have another update for you coming up in about 15 minutes.